I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you how I refreshed our back patio for the spring season. So let's jump right in. Okay, friends, so one thing that is so important is that we keep the exterior of our home as beautiful as the interior. And so that's why it's springtime and I want to get out on the back patio and I encourage you to do the same. And when you do that, look at all of those areas at your of your home, your siding, look at your flooring, look at your lawn and all of those important features that keep the property value up. So I do want to thank my sponsors of this video, James Hardy, because they had me looking at my siding because my house is getting up there in age. And so it was time for us to reevaluate especially on our back patio here because we have siding on this whole back wall and so they have so many beautiful finishes and it, it got me so inspired and so I'm excited to share them with you today because if you're um, in that same uh, kind of place as I and looking at siding for your home and wanting that refresh then they definitely check James Hardy out. One thing about James Hardy is they have a Color Plus technology which helps with the performance and longevity of your siding. So that is something key that you want to look at when you're looking at siding because you want something that is going to stay beautiful over the years. They have curated a variety of different colors and styles and textures and sizes so it definitely can fit a variety of sizes and I love that to have choices. Another thing that is key for me is a company that stands behind their product. They have a 100% guarantee for 30 years. That is so important for me. Their Color Plus technology is a 15 year warranty. So definitely you always, always want to stick with that company that is going to stand behind their product. So now that I have James Hardy as my go-to company for all the siding on my home, I want to take you on the journey of showing you the makeover that I did on our back patio. We were so excited about it. We have it cleared out. All the pollen is gone and it's fresh and ready for us to implement all of the new things that we got for the space. I'm so excited to share it with you. Now you remember my old set, we had a rattan brown set for about 10 years, still in excellent condition. We loved it, but the comfort wasn't um, there for us anymore. It didn't have cushions on the back and you know we're getting older. We loved our rug here, it still looked new, but the color didn't kind of blend well with our new set. We passed all of this on to be a blessing to another family who happens to be in our family. They sent us pictures and friends, it looked better in their home than ours. So it's where it was meant to be. And we are so happy that they have it and love it. Now this is our new set. We absolutely love the white and the navy together. But as you can see, and maybe you can't see so much on film, but in real life, the blue was really drastically different. And so we wanted to go with a more natural color with the rug that would um, kind of have a better fit. Now the rug looks darker here because I sprayed it down so that I could get all of the wrinkles out. And that's a tip, friends, when you get a new rug, an outdoor rug, spray it down and let the, all those wrinkles, it'll push all those wrinkles out so once it dries it'll be totally fine but the browns they I love this color in particularly because it picks up on our ceiling fan that we have here in the patio because our ceiling fan has more of the rich brown tones that didn't go with a white ceiling fan you all might remember that from last year I went with this one here that I absolutely love and I think it's really fitting out here and then I found three fabulous nesting tables. I love nesting tables, never had them, and I was so happy to finally get some. And so I thought they would be perfect out here and they match great with the set. And I love that it now gives us a place to put our drinks and I can put my lamps out here because you know, I always put lamps on my back patio because it makes it very cozy. And we do have um, kind of sockets out here that we can plug them in. And then with the pillows, I did purchase some outdoor pillows with a little more detail on them to break up all of these solids, you know, so a little more design in there to kind of bring some texture to the space and so I fell in love with these and they matched perfectly with our cushions and I love that they only had the blue the navy in it because I wanted to keep the whole space basically the blue and white and then incorporate the green which I love in the plant life so I didn't want any other green outside of plant life to be in the space I felt like that would keep with the same look that I love but make it feel a little different and so here's the look with the cushions and I've tried playing around with them you know one or two ways but you know I think that I like them on the ends of each of the sofa like this versus having them kind of straightforward um, on there so it, you know it's just about tweaking and then I put my plants out there and I put the little games out there this is the fun part putting little accessories I took one of my white trays that I had in my entertaining closet and put it out here with some two new coffee mugs for Mike and I 
so that we can enjoy our coffee and then of course putting that green with the plant life and so i really loved it friends i love the fact that I, I kept in my thought process just keep everything blue and then let the plants bring in the green and it really brings a nice feel to it just adding some simple little decorative accessories that i got from here and there you all know uh, my hot spots and then the lamps here now the shade of the lamp i originally found blue shades that were richer and i may try to still find some a little darker but i thought these weren't too bad um, as far as kind of giving a little different uh, variation along with I did start my herb garden again this year cross your fingers that it lives friends you know how I do but I'm never giving up and so here is the finished patio which is now ready for us to enjoy for the spring and summer so I hope you have enjoyed seeing me on my patio journey. Mike and I hope to be out here by next week. It's still a little too chilly, but we are happy that we knocked this project out of the way. I hope that you can also get inspired and check out James Hardy. They have an inspirational guide. I'll put the link below that you can definitely check out. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you as a part of my At Home with Nikki family. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.